All right, so in this video, we want to put two reset switches on these fast load cartridges. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is clean them. There we go. Very dirty. Then we're gonna clean cartridges with some with some alcohol. Alright, here we go. So these did not boot up. First time I had to clean them a little bit more, stick them in, stick them out. So now we're ready to move on to the next step. Next, decide where you want to put the switch. I usually go right here, so we're going to drill a hole right in there. It's a quarter inch. You don't want to press real hard to, uh, you don't want to break the board inside. You could just remove this board and then drill the hole too, so. There we go. There's a couple options to do this. First of all, you need to attach a wire here and then a wire to pin three, which runs up. I'm actually on the back side. Well, I'll use this one here for an example. Go into the reset switch, it's this pin right here. Which is actually this pin here. This pin here, which you follow it down, goes to this right here. So that's a really good way to do this. I'm gonna keep this one for reference. If you follow it, follow it closely, this actually disables a fast load cartridge. So I wanna show you what I'm using also. I've switched to these. Now I get these off of Amazon, I'll put a link below. They're already pre-wired, they're ready to go. We just need to solder these tips in. Hey, if I didn't already say this part, be sure to test the switch before you install it. I've done this before and the reset switch didn't work. It took me a while to figure it out, but it was because the switch was bad. Well, how can I do this with one hand? Let's see. Take me a second here. All right, this is a good switch. And I use my multimeter set on continuity there. I like to mark which pin we're gonna use so we don't get confused. I'm gonna add a little fresh solder to that and then we're gonna put one of the wires in. It's got a little too much on here. I'm gonna clip. We just need a little bit on here. So I shortened the um, amount of wire on here. Always do a tug test. A gentle tug, not too hard. Because that's going to have to go up this way. I'm going to drop some solder in this hole here. Now it's ready for the other wire. Let's clip this one down a little bit too. Give that a tug test. I mean, it's easier to solder it to a pin than to this little flat surface right here. So we just follow that trace up. All right, let's put this back together. One more thing. I don't think this is a fast load case. You might have to notch out uh, a little piece here for this wire. So I had to do that. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, you have room for the wire. Let's put this screw back in. So I got this cartridge put back together. Got it stuck in. What we're gonna do is just type a few scribbles, scribble lines, and then we're gonna just hit the reset here. Hit the reset. And hit the reset. So you can see how cool that is and how easy it was to install the easy reset switch.
I decided to put a blue in this one. Works the same way. And thanks for watching. Post your questions below. If you have any questions on this project, it really took a couple minutes. Uh, I'll put this on the level of pretty easy to do. Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching.